And amateur A class bout contested over three rounds at a catch weight of 52 kilos and proudly sponsored by Hard Life Fighter. Your first fighter, stepping into the cage and fighting out of the blue corner, Anna Louise Burns. We are underway here, first female fight of the evening. Two bantamweights, both very experienced fighters as well. 
A tentative start here. Both are looking to faint and throw. Yeah, that feeling out process. Good inside leg kick though from Nicola Knight. And Louise Burns trying to dictate the pace a little bit, switching the stances. Goes in for that takedown. Goes to get, tries to get the underhooks. Unable to, to get any. She gets one under, doesn't get the outside one. Good shot over the top as well there. And right in front of us. Good knee down the pipe as well, straight into that midsection. Yeah, Nicola just trying to swing in that underhook. Trying to lift her opponent up, bring her up right. Burns looking slightly stronger the two, I'd say. There's a lot, a lot of movement from Burns. A lot of head movement, a lot of changing levels. Yeah, she's constantly moving away and then, and then comes back in, but she's getting caught on the way in at the minute. The head movement was there originally, but she started to, to just come straight down the middle then. Got caught a couple of times from Knight. Yeah, Knight, good left and right there. They seem to be mirroring each other. It's Knight seems to have the answer. There's a lot of fainting at the minute, a lot of feeling out process. Nice outside leg kick, good switch kick though from Knight and Knight's putting the flurry together there. That's really good work. Yeah, it's almost like even trading, you throw one, I'll throw one back. Until we get close enough. Yeah, it's even trading exactly, but I think the, the better shots are definitely coming from Knight at the minute. He's picking a shot slightly better, a, bit, a little bit more accurate. That's nice. Again, the combination seems to be there from Knight. Big right hand as well. Yeah, it's good work. Drives her against the cage, does a good job there, but turned back out from Burns. And Burns now using, she's got one over, one under up there. Yeah, she's, Burns driving forward, trying to get that trip. She's doing Unable a good job to, it. to drive that trip in, but also Knight is doing a good job to defend it. Not really letting her get anything from that, and that is the end of the first round. Although the head movement was there from Anna Louise Burns, I think the better shots were being thrown by Nicola Knight. I'd say that was a Nicola Knight round. The more accurate shots anyway. Yeah, I think I'd have to agree with you there. I mean, Burns did look very busy. But as you said, the more accurate shots coming from Nicola Knight. Accuracy is quite key in these female bouts at this weight division. That's where you can cause the damage and you can cause, you know, the, the, the count strike up with just being a little bit more accurate. And although Anna Louise Burns' head movement was brilliant, she was getting caught on the way in every time. I was liking the switch kicks from, from Nicola Knight. Ready to go round two here, Unity Fighting Championships. Good shot, good switch again. That switch keeps causing problems because every time she throws them shots, you, you see in there, Burns duck ahead a little bit. Good body shot there as well. That left kick straight, just straight up on that left kick. And now you're seeing Nicola Knight putting that pressure on against the cage. Yeah, it was a good knee. Burns now trying to... She was trying to frame there, but because the head was on the other side, she was struggling to get that frame. Trying to get that take down. Switch his leg. Burns goes for that double now. Really trying to drag that double off the cage. Gets yeah, a trip. Gets a great trip there. Great work. Got to watch the neck, though. She's pretty safe as she starts to step over.
continuing to step into the mount now. She can pop that head out. And Nicola Knight is in a really precarious position. You're looking now with Burns. If she can pop, like I say, if she can pop on, push on that elbow and pop the head out. This is real trouble for Knight. Yeah, Knight needs to switch her weight. She's allowing Burns to secure that mount position, essentially. Yeah, she's still keeping hold of that, that neck, but that's just going to gash yeah. her arms out at this point. It's going to pop any moment. You feel it. Oh, wow, she got the switch. And she still, she's still kept over that head as well. <laughs> Good work, but she's going to watch the armbar attempt there. Looking at well, potentially now a triangle attempt from Burns from the bottom. She's getting, trying to get that wrist control. Trying to lift them legs up. It's a good back and forth. Knight now taking over a little bit here. She's trying to pass the legs of Burns. Burns turns, gives up her neck. And then you've got now Nicola Knight on the back. Nevada Louise Burns, she's trying to get that side choke from the side. You can finish from the side here. That is under the chin, so you can finish it from here, but she oh. sees it and turns her out really well. Wasn't the leverage just wasn't over. there. Yeah, she just couldn't keep it. Back to the canvas now. Burns driving forward, trying to again step over those legs. Knight does well and gets the half guard. Yeah, a couple of punishing shots there, though. Ten seconds left. And I'd say we've got to go to this third round, probably around a piece here. Interesting fight so far. But I definitely say we're looking at around a piece here, Rob. Yeah, I felt Burns definitely fought her way back into that. Although she did almost find herself in trouble a couple of times with Knight trying to attack that rear naked choke. Yeah, well, this, this is a thing. Knight, you can see, is really dangerous with the attacks. She put some good work together in both rounds. I think, this, I think the judges are going to go probably a round apiece on this one. Third and final round, all to play for these young women. Again, both experienced amateur fighters. Third, third round underway here. Nice shot. Good right hand from Nicola Knight. Yeah, Knight's been very accurate with them shots, hasn't she? And you can see that Anna's wanting to frantically get this into the clinch position again. It's turned out, though, there. None of them are fully in control at any point in the grappling exchanges. That's the, that's the issue. Yeah, it's quick transitions from one to the other. And if they're trying to keep that overhook. Yeah, Knight just doing a good job with that, that wizard there. It's not allowing the takedown this time, but once she's turned out, I'd like to see a disengagement from Nicola Knight. So I think she's got the advantage on the feet. There you go. It's almost like they're listening to you. Good shots going forward from Anna, but that head movement's got a little bit more sloppy. And you could see Nicola there with a bit of a grimace on her face. She's starting to tire a little bit. That was a good nice, attempt. Very nice take down there. Very well done. Hook the leg. Nicola with her hand posted. Needs to try and get to her knee. Yeah, she's posting really well there. Like you say, she can now use that cage if she can get. So what she's doing, she's put her left hip to the to the cage as she was posting them, but she's now gone to the other side. She's now going to confuse herself a little bit. And this is allowing Anna Louise Burns to put the pressure on. And, and there's the rear naked attempt. She's going for it. That's on as well from the side. Again, you can finish from here. Actually, class is a front naked joke. 
Good work. Nicola Knight. Oh, big right hand though from Nicola Knight on the way in. And the, the uppercut as well there, Jamie, as she came forward. Anna Louise Burns frantically trying to put the pressure on. This has been a really good back and forth fight. It's a shame that one's going to have to potentially go on the loser. Unless it's a draw, you never know. But I think this has been a really even round. Nicola Knight still coming forward. Burns still in there. Looking for that takedown. Doesn't get it. Both just throwing heavy knees and heavy lever in this end to the third and final round here. And what's been a brilliant fight so far. Both trying to finish strong. Burns firing knees. And there it is, the whistle, the bell. The end of the third and final. Yeah, I mean, like I say, that third and final round was so hard to, to sort of judge because there was really good moments from both guys. And I, I genuinely wouldn't be surprised if there's at least one of the judges goes to draw on this. Yeah, I think Nicola definitely looked great with her striking when she was able to find the right range. As you said, she was very accurate. Great uh, work by Burns. She pushed the pace. She really kept the fight, took the fight constantly to Nicola. It'll be interesting to see which way the judges do go. I don't think it's as clear cut as we'd like to think. No, I, I really don't think it's as clear cut at all. I, I think it's a, a very, very close fight. I think both guys had the, both, sorry, both girls had the moments throughout that fight. So it's one of those really tough ones to judge. And you can see both corners looking quite, you know, they're, they're, they're both thinking as well which way this is going to go. I don't think anyone's overly sure. But it's taking a moment. But we're about to find out. So it's a split decision, but I don't know which judge went 30-27, but for me, I don't think that was correct. Uh, I think it was definitely at least a round apiece going into that last round. Yes, I mean, it's a tough one, but that's why we aren't judges. Um, yeah, I was quite surprised. I mean, as we stated, it was a tough one to call. It was always going to be a very difficult fight to call. But yeah, 30-27. Oh. 